Right, I'm going to cast a sword today. I found a sword. Nice one, I like this. It's got like a lion claw. It's quite big and thick, so it's a nice sword. I couldn't believe my luck when I just spotted it in the shop. So we're going to cast that. Uh, I'm going to put a vent in this. I've been meaning to record putting a vent in for Mr. Zeke. So I'm going to get that done. Another little tip I've been doing. It might work on the coin. Keep it nice and smooth. It's this first one, ring. I usually pack it like that. Now, I'm flipping it upside down. So when I'm hammering it down, I'm using this little book because it's nice. It's sort of glossy. So it's uh, waterproof. And it's nice and smooth. So when I flip it back round to make the impression, I've got a nice flat surface. I'll show you the surface. I'll shut you off and I'll come back with the surface. So there's the surface. After I flipped it around, it's a lot smoother. And then I just talc it up. And then I'll put the sword in. Right, there's the sword. There's where I'll be pouring. I've attached some matches here on the side. I'm going to put a pour hole through the top here. And that will be the vent. So it's just just a, like another match stick there. And I'll have a pour hole coming out the top here. So when it's closed up, pour hole, vent. And all that does is just any trap there, it just pushes it through. I need that to put that on. So I've just got to pack it up and then I'll show you once I've put the vents in, well the vent and the porthole. Right so there's one half, here's where I'll be pouring right there and uh, there's the air vent just there. So pour through there and then the silver will run through, any air will be forced out here and you'll see probably smoke come out of this vent when I pour it. So just give them both a good blow, make sure there's nothing in there. That's it, that's ready to go. Uh, probably move the camera, so I'll do that in a second, wobble these about quickly. Uh, I've got an ounce to heat up, I don't think it's going to take any more than an ounce, probably 0 0.7, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to melt it in and then, well, I'll, I'll show you some pour in it so you can see the vent, I'll try and set the camera somewhere. Right, back soon. I don't know how well the air vent went. We'll see. Usually, smoke usually comes out the side of it, but nothing. Alright, we'll get it out. I'll cool it off. There it is. Came out well. Looks real good. I'll just uh, get the whole thing out so we can show you.
There's just got to cut that piece off there with the blade, clean out the claw, and then saw this bit off here. Yeah, that has come out nice. I'll show you it finished later. I've got something else to show you as well. A coin I received today. So, right, so I got some mail today as well before I show you the finished sword. And this was uh, given to me by Argentum Pica. He's on a silver forum and we talk on a Facebook Messenger. And uh, he said he had a spare one and he knows that I've uh, had difficulty to order my own. And he said that he'd trade me some for some of the hammered coins I make. So jumped at the chance because I, I definitely needed one or wanted one. So thank you very much. Go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description. Just move that there slightly. And uh, here's the sword. It's not finished. Let me just get my hand out the light and move it back slightly. It just needs tidying up. A little file here and there. I've just tumbled it. And uh, that's it. It's just uh, just over half an ounce. So I'm pleased with them both. Right, go check out the channel. I'm going to leave you there with that image. See you later.